Excellent. Let's get moving on this particular video. So welcome Nancy and Leslie um, to this uh, show or video uh, where we're going to talk about the new awesome experiences for Viva Connection desktop. Um, let's start with an introduction. So let's let's start with you, Nancy. Who are you and, and what's your role? Hey, everybody. This is Nancy. I am a product manager on Viva Connections team. And I work closely with Vesa and Leslie. And uh, we, one of the new features that we're working on is providing or releasing uh, the updates on Viva Connections desktop. Uh, we have a bunch of new features, which we are looking forward to talk to you. And we will talk about all the details uh, shortly. Yep, excellent. What about you, Leslie? Quick intros. Hi, everybody. My name is Leslie. I am also a product manager that focuses on Viva Connections, and I also focus on the accessibility of Viva Connections as well. That's actually a really good, really good important reminder. You are actually the access accessibility lead within the Viva Connection. That's actually really, really good. Now, um, before we go to the Viva Connection, the new Viva Connection uh, uh, desktop experience and, and show that one in practice with live demos and all of that, let's have a quick look on, on what does the Viva, Microsoft Viva actually means. And this is, uh, has been a bit of an evolving space, uh, but Microsoft Viva is really our employee experiences platform, uh, which consists from multiple modules. Um, and you can actually take those modules into a use individually or as a grouped uh, setup uh, and adapt them based on the need with a smaller group of people within your company or a lar larger group of people within your company. Now, within this video, we'll kind of focus on the Viva connection, which is really for aggregating all of this information to a single view, which I'll talk about bit more detail in a second. But the Microsoft Viva is, is as I said, it's a set of modules uh, and functionalities and business-driven employee experiences functionalities, which are a, a improving the corporate communications, improving the employee engagement within your company, uh, and has a lot of features for frontline workers and, and all of that stuff as well. All of this is built on top of the Microsoft 365, uh, so it has the standardized privacy and security features. Uh, you're using still Microsoft 365, you're accessing the Microsoft Viva modules, typically through Microsoft Teams. Uh, there are certain exceptions and, and uh, attach, uh, uh, progress on that side as well. And uh, there's a platform features. You can actually build some of the extensibility. There's APIs and all of that true in the same way as for other Microsoft 365 functionalities. And there's a lot of partner uh, integrations as well. So a lot of our partner, the worldwide partner ecosystem is building extensibility on top of the individual Viva modules. And some of those mod uh, extensions are also available in the Microsoft App Source, being the Microsoft Store for extensibility for your enterprise applications. Now, specifically in this video, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the Viva connection uh, section. So quick intros on that side, even though these pictures are a bit outdated, uh, as you will see later on on the presentation and as we go through the new feature. But Viva Connection is really for that corporate communications and it provides the same seamless experience across any device what you're using. So you have the computer desktop experience where we're going to focus mainly today. You also have the mobile and tablet experiences. So it, it's adapting based on the device what you're using, which is a really, really, really great uh, thing. So you can use the Viva Connection easily access your tools and apps. So all of the tools and apps which you use typically on a daily basis can be then surfaced there, uh, can be easily accessed or most or, or more precisely, you can easily access the main information also within those tools. You can easily access your resources, um, quite a typical scenario. We have a lot of those typical, let's say tools and resources and assets which everybody is using on a daily basis. You can personalize those resources within your company and access those easily directly from one centralized location. Uh, and it's really for personalized communications as well. So um, as a corporate communications, you can publish latest news announcements through the Viva Connection. And then your frontline workers using the mobile, as an example, can easily access the information through whatever device they're then using to accessing corporate information. Quick intros on the Viva Connection uh, from my side. Uh, not an official marketing statement, but I guess people kind of understood what this is all about. I'm a principal PM, by the way, not a marketing person. So uh, the storytelling is a bit different, maybe. I don't know. So <laughs> thank you, Nancy, for the smiles. Now, um, let's actually go through a bit more on what are we changing uh, within the Viva Connection and, and the Viva Connection desktop experience. So right now, we're kind of focusing 
more on the Viva Connection desktop experience, but of course, we're rolling out features in the mobile experiences as well. And this is roughly the overall picture, which is currently available. So we have the Viva Connection features uh, in the desktop. We have the announcements and all of that. That's actually visible in the mobile as well. That is an outdated picture, but we'll, we'll do live demos on all of this in a second. Um, and all of this can be branded based on your company uh, look and feel. Um, so the, all of the different features what we have in the Viva Connection are being listed actually here. So if we walk through uh, the Viva Connection experience, we have the Microsoft 365 search directly integrated in there. You can easily access the SharePoint uh, home site. If you're using SharePoint and a corporate communications in there, you can easily access that through the home site link. And then we have the announcements and hero with news from the home site. And Nancy, you are one of the feature PMs actually in both of these features. Can you talk about quick intros on both of them? We'll see them live in a second, uh, but quick intros from your side. Yeah, so announcements, as the name suggests, this feature allows employees to stay in touch uh, with the end user. Um, if there's anything which is time sensitive, if there's any critical piece of information, needs to go out to the company. It can be targeted. It can be sent out using this feature. It will show up on Viva Connections desktop, mobile, and tablet. So across all endpoints, we, have notif uh, we will also have notifications on mobile so that the employees do not miss out on any update. That's the announcements feature, and we'll see it working uh, shortly. Uh, next thing, we want to talk about Hero or the spotlight section, new uh, spotlight section. So uh, you'll see this new component that we have added on our connect. So this component, uh, brand new, brings in company news or news within the viewport for the employees. So every important uh, company news, boosted news, everything that we've, we've heard feedback in the past now has a prominent place on the canvas. And then behind the below that one, obviously you can you can set up a custom background image based on your branding, which we'll see in the practice in a second as well. And then we have the dashboard. So those who've seen the Viva Connection in the past, uh, we've been really focusing on the dashboard. And dashboard is a key part, absolutely 100% in the Viva Connection. You can, there's out of the box cards, uh, there's a custom card can be built using SharePoint framework. There's a partner cards also in the store and more and more cards are available. And you can, of course, use audience targeting for the cars as well. So you can personalize the dashboard based on the user and roles uh, who's accessing the dashboard. You can even have multiple dashboards, which is interesting scenario. So there's a lot of, lot of options and flexibility there. Now, and then we have the section, which is the resources. A lot of changes here as well, right, Leslie, you've been the feature PM, especially on the resources side. Yeah, absolutely. So we're excited about the changes that we made to the resources section. So for those that are familiar with our previous experience, our resource experience was once coupled with the global navigation experience in SharePoint Online. So with the new updated resource experience, we provided easier wayfinding for users to create navigational links directly through connections. And you can have up to 48 links onto your tenant. So you can reorder the links, you can add new links, you can edit new links, and you can also add images to the links that you want to share. So that way it can provide easier wayfinding of links that you want to provide to your organization. So it gives editors the power to kind of curate the, the navigational direction of their organization that they want through the links. And we are excited to demo this uh, shortly. Yep, really, really cool. Uh, this great, 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 great new features across the board for sure. And then the final piece here is the Viva Suite links. Uh, so if you have the Viva features enabled within your tenant, depending again on the tenant status, you can easily access all of those Viva features directly from this one centralized location. Now, that's the slides. Let's actually go to a real life scenario and a real life tenant where we have the Viva Connection tree, uh, the new Viva Connection desktop experience uh, up and running. And we'll walk through some of the features here. So here we can see uh, the, the hero section rolling the latest news. We can see the dashboard, there's the resources, and of course the Viva links below. Let's start with a, a bit of a modification on the theming. So first of all, uh, what we can do from a branding perspective, uh, a few things to notice, uh, we can modify here the logo. Uh, so we can actually set your custom logo there. That's nothing new and it has existed for a while, but we can technically 
personalize the link within the Microsoft Teams uh, uh, based on your company logo and company name. In this case, the company name is Contoso uh, and the logo is, is the, well, I guess that's a drone. I guess it's a drone. Yes, it's a drone. Now let's do that. And then the other things. So we can personalize this a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go change the look and I'm going to modify the theme. And the theme is setting the, the colors. Now, there are a set of out-of-the-box themes available. Uh, in here, you might be familiar with SharePoint themes. These are actually the same themes what you see in the SharePoint sites. You can actually introduce your custom themes as well. You can either customize them directly in here, or you can actually introduce a tenant-level custom theme based on your company name and introduce those colors within the theme to be available. Now, let's flip something else. Let's do, for example, uh, orange uh, and customize that one. And as we save that one, we can actually see that the theme colors, for example, the buttons uh, and also the resources are then based on that color scheme. Now, as we're changing the color theme, um, might, might be that we want to change the image behind of the header section, uh, the news section as well. And uh, this is super easy. Uh, so I can go to the edit section as long as I have the right permission uh, because I need to have, I'm, I'm basically setting the settings for every user within my tenant uh, who are using this same dashboard. So this is not a for you, it's for the whole, uh, whole tenant uh, employees. I love the fact that we can go change the image and in the change image, if nothing else, uh, from a demo perspective, this is incredibly powerful. So I can use stock images. Obviously, you probably have some brand images uh, for your company and you're choosing from them. Uh, but in our case, we could actually pick something nice orange uh, to really make it aligned with the new theme which we were selecting. Uh, oh, that's a nice picture uh, of a flower and let's actually choose that one and then then that gets assigned as the background color in the in the header section and then we save that and we have a new personalized uh, experience uh, in the Viva connection we can also quickly showcase the feed we're not going to spend too much time in here but of course on top of the frontline experiences the feed is now it's in own tab and from here you can find the relevant news and updates within your tenant and there we go. As, as we saw, actually, just before I was moving to the feed, um, the orange picture went in a pack. It depends really depends on the image size, how long it actually takes to apply that. In this case, we pick randomly a relatively big image size aligned with the orange theming, what we were doing. So now we have personalized the experience um, and we could do, of course, modify the image a, a logo, as we mentioned, and all of that. Now let's then start going through the individual other sections. So as an example in here, um, and Nancy, you were the one who was responsible of creating the, uh, the uh, announcement section. And these are the individual announcements which are currently available uh, for within the announcement. But as, as long as you have the permission, you can easily create new ones, right? So yes, uh, thanks for walking us through all components on connections and looking into the announcement uh, panel on the top. So as, as, as Visa mentioned, on top is the announcements carousel where we uh, up to five announcements on top. Um, and for anything additional beyond the five number, there will be a see all experience at the end of the carousel. You can click on it and we'll find any uh, other important announcement which is live still applicable and and the user needs to look at it so um these are where all the active announcements show up and there's another tab for finding all announcements uh, as we're looking at the carousel we can like click into any announcement to find more content then a call to action where if an author wants to add a link which employee needs to take action on that's possible let's quickly jump into the authoring flow actually and talk about all the features that are available so as as visa mentioned uh, anybody who had access on viva connections or the home site so we're expecting a lot of corporate communicators will have this access edit access they would be able to create announcement and anybody who has the edit access on on the connections on desktop should be uh, start creating these important messages. So we start here on the new announcement. We, uh, we, we, we provide a title, the message goes along with it. I have no idea what I'm actually writing here. Uh, mainframes, nobody's using mainframes. Summer break for, uh, for the employees. Uh, so. 
super important summer break to charge batteries. Okay. That's perfect. And we will select which is the audience group to which you want to target this announcement. So let's target it to everybody. And then we have the option to be able to schedule this announcement if this is meant for something in future. But for now, I think oh, I'll just publish it now. There's also more options uh, toggle where we have two options. One is to be able to provide a link. So if there's like a link or if there's like a training link that I want to add, I, I can provide that link here. There's also an make your announcement dismissible so if if we think an announcement is really important i think we, we've already kept the toggle off but in case this is like a gentle reminder and want uh this announcement to always show up on top employees will be able to dismiss it and come back to it so those are two uh, other features to talk about and once we've created announcement in quickly less than a few minutes i should be able to hit next and out the announcement as soon as we do that this will actually notify uh, an employee on the mobile uh, if they're also on tablet if they're on business desktop they would be seeing this announcement show up on top of the uh, connection page so we'll see that right now perfect cool awesome that worked really nicely without any any issues. And there, there's the message. And again, there was a one message just to call this out. Uh, this message here had a dismiss option. And this was based on the fact that it, it had that option enabled when you created the, the news article uh, that you can actually dismiss uh, the news. So that could be something just to acknowledge that the persons are aware of that entry. Good. I guess that summarizes the the theming, the branding, uh, the announcements, right? Nancy, am I missing something? That no, we're seems basically like... okay. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's right. And then the the dashboard section in here. There's nothing really too much special here. This has existed uh, for Viva Connection uh, uh, since the dawn of the Viva Connection. Um, but there are new card types. For example, the events card is a relatively new one. The top news is evolving as well. So you can easily access the latest news. And we have the find people. So I can actually easily find uh, the relevant uh, people based on, for example, the person name and then get the details or send them a message and all of that. And everything is deep linking. So you can easily access this directly from your uh, mobile experience as well. And the key point to remember here is that um, all of these are extendable. So you can build your own custom uh, experiences and custom cards based on uh, the business requirements, what you have, and based on the industry, uh, what your company is referencing and based on the the roles and what you want to show for individual people. A lot of, lot of opportunities with the cards uh, for mobile and a lot of opportunities in, in other devices as well. A lot of cool examples. I, I, I like these examples, definitely. Now, let's then go a bit more further down. Um, and again, we can build, as I said, custom cards, SPFX, partner cards, all of those available in the cards. But then we have the resources section. So Leslie, you are the specialist on the resources. Um, what do we want to do? We want to edit the section, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, yep. Yeah, so a couple of things that you can do here. One thing that I want to highlight before we begin is what's so fascinating about the updated resources experience is that for those who may not have an existing home site when you create your connections tenant, you can be able to create the resources experience right out of the box and add as many links as up to 48 links as you like. So what we're going to do, we're going to edit a link. And right now you see that there are a list of links that are already available. So once you click on edit mode, this is completely draft. So editors have the ability to edit existing links, reorder and add a new link. So in a case that you want to edit a link, as you can see, when you go on to the edit mode, well, actually we'll start with add a new link. So when you go to add a new link, you can add the URL. So in this case, we will put a URL here. So you do Bing. And what's fascinating about the new resource experience is that let's say that you want it to have a URL like Bing. And what it'll do is it'll automatically generate a thumbnail. So any website that has kind of like their own branding, it'll show up in a thumbnail there. So as you can see with Bing.com, it already is automatically generated. But let's say that you have specific icons that you want to use for your branding and you want to have a specific branding pattern. You also have the ability to add your own icon. So right now we have 
an auto-generate icon that you can start out with, but you can edit the icon. And once you go there, there are a plethora of icons that you can choose from that is relevant to your business needs. And what's fascinating about using these as well is that once you select an icon, based on the theming color that you selected, the icon will actually match the color theming that you selected. So as you see here, the icon was selected, it matches the orange theming that was selected. And then from there, you can save. So you'll see that it showed saving, but I want to point out that while it did show that it was saving, it's still in draft mode. So any changes that you make won't automatically get published. That only happens when you select done. So once you select done, it will save all the changes that you made to your resources, and then it should populate almost immediately. And, and at this moment of a time, anybody else who's accessing the Viva connection uh, from their device will see the HR entry in here. And of course, just, just to go out, of course, we can reorder this uh, easily. Is it the track and dropping? Uh, yeah, yes, it is. Um, I'm, I wasn't aware. Or is it, how do I change this? How do I now move the location? It is track and dropping, right? There yes, we go. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so, so you can drag and drop to any location that you like. And let's say that you have more than the links here. It'll show all the links at once when you are going through edit mode. So you can drag and drop them to whatever place that you want. It'll show shaving, but it'll still be in draft mode until you select done. Yeah. If you if yep. you wanted to uh, continue to edit, even though you didn't finalize the drag and drop, you can select close, and then you can choose to add a new link or edit existing links before you select done. Cool. This is really, really, really cool. Awesome stuff, awesome changes, and and starts looking really awesome uh, with the custom branding and everything else. Now, this is now the, the main announcement as part of this video and as part of the blog post and, arca and, and articles which we're rolling out uh, together. We just wanted to also call out that, of course, the branding elements, like we showed shown in the slides, uh, are visible in the mobile, but the mobile experience is a bit more uh, changed. So let me actually play play here. Uh, this is pre-recorded from that particular tenant. So the branding isn't exactly aligned, but we are using the same identity and we're using actually the same branding as where we started uh, adapting our branding. But you can actually see that the branding, the image, the announcements are visible there uh, as well. And then the background image, and I can see the announcements uh, within the mobile device as well. So the main difference is that we're missing that hero section, new section, Right, Nancy? And then the resources are in its own tab. Uh, yeah, just to clarify a bit more on the differences with mobile, we uh, are thinking about how in uh, the brand new component or the new changes that we have introduced on desktop uh, resources, yes. they are on a different tab, but we uh, are already this planned work to evolve and use the same data source. So as, as Leslie mentioned, now it becomes much easier to create new links from within the desktop, and it's no longer tied to your blog location. We will be doing some work uh, soon, and that should be available to our customers. The data sources on, on all the endpoints would, would be integrated. Makes perfect sense, and we'll we'll definitely do another videos whenever there's a a new announcements in a mobile, and as we're rolling out new features uh, available. Now, I guess that's that's all good for the live demos and and the slides and the videos. And let's let's do a quick round still on on what's happening next. Uh, are we now completely done with Viva Connection, or do we have next ideas? So exciting part. I think the demo the demo is great, but let's talk about what's coming. So there's, there's a lot in pipeline. Uh, we are still thinking about what uh, feedback we've heard from customers so far. And this already planned work uh, would soon be shipping to our customers uh, in the next couple of months. So as, as we talked, as, as we saw in the demo, there's a new spotlight section we just introduced. And Right now, uh, we do not have we do not have a bunch of configurations for customers. But that's something which we're already looking into. So at some point, um, very soon, we'll have for um, editors, operators, admins to be able to select what the sources look like. So boosted news will show up ranked based on uh, what 
customers would want. So all company news will show up. There'll be some filtering capabilities. So stay tuned. And uh, in addition to that, uh, thinking about the dashboard component, there's not much that has evolved on that right now, but there are changes that are coming soon. So we'll have similar to section an inline expansion. So no more complaints with the see all expansion see all button which takes you to the l2 experience of dashboard we will see all the cards load in line that's one big thing uh, another thing that we've heard from customers is an ask to a personalization or customization for users on on desktop so we've had this on mobile we will we are already thinking about what needs to happen on desktop so that's something soon going to be available uh, that's that's on the dashboard component and resources you want to uh, talk about things that are coming soon? Yeah, absolutely. So one thing that I didn't mention earlier about resources is the ability to target certain links to specific audiences. That is something that we do plan to release um, in this calendar year. So that way customers who have had the global navigation before, who had that capability can also leverage that existing capability in a new resources experience. And we would imagine that will help uh, small businesses, as well as large businesses, as well to target specific links to specific audiences. Yeah, makes makes perfect sense and completely understandable uh, uh, use case for sure. Um, so as we will have more links which are targeted based on a role and all of that stuff, you want to want to do that with audiences. Definitely makes perfect sense. Cool. I, I think we went through all of the new features. We went through the mobile experiences, all of the demos, all of the things. Um, I guess we, we covered uh, everything what is needed and what was the objective within this video. Um, so thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Leslie, for dropping by. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, awesome capabilities and, and as we covered it is a continuous flow of new features um, so and I I love this evergreen mentality what we have with Microsoft 365 I've been in Microsoft for way too long I guess but I've seen when we were not in this moment and now we're kind of at all the time bringing new features for customers which is a bit of a change management challenge challenge as well but it's it's a it's also giving more value for end users um, all the time and we're trying to make those changes in a way that they're not dramatical but they will provide more and more value for end users as well cool but i guess that's it for now so thank you everybody for watching thank you nancy and leslie for joining on the show as well thanks thank everybody thanks